What's up travelers? It's Liz from Means to Travel coming to you today from beautiful Tucson, Arizona. It is such a nice day outside. I had to film out here. And I have been traveling now for 14 days. I'm going to actually be gone for probably more like 17 from my home. And I have done everything in just a carry-on bag and a personal item. So I thought that I would spend some time and kind of go back to this channel's roots of packing videos and share with you exactly what I brought. So as you can see, I packed all the things that I brought on this trip in just a carry-on and a personal item. So my carry-on size is 22 by 14 by nine. It's an international carry-on size bag. I've actually done a review for this particular Timmy suitcase on this channel already. So I'll put a link down in the description below. And then I've also packed my trusty uh, Briggs and Riley large tote bag for all of my personal item stuff. It fits just under the seat in front of me really good for travel. So I had to pack in just a carry-on only because I flew standby here. And um, it's really advised if you're flying standby to do so. So I know a lot of you guys tend to opt to want to pack carry-on only too because there are a lot of benefits to packing carry-on only. You can have a lighter load and you just are going to have a little bit more intention to what you bring. So with that, my other caveat is that I am wearing right now my travel outfit. So if you saw the video that I made at the first day of this trip where I flew from Chicago to Salt Lake City, I was wearing this outfit in that travel vlog and I've been wearing this travel outfit for when I flew from Salt Lake to Tucson and from when I fly back home from Tucson to Chicago, I'll be wearing this. So I thought this is going to be super important to wear this for this video because you can see this is not what's going in my suitcase. This is what's going on me <laughs> on top of having my leather jacket with me, which is the only jacket that I brought. I am filming this in mid-October. I know that um, you guys might be flying to different destinations that have different types of weather. The destinations that I have been in on this trip are a little bit warmer. I think in, the, in Salt Lake, it was in the 60s and 70s when I was there. And as you can see, I'm sitting outside right now in Tucson in the shade, kind of almost like warm in my sweater. It is quite warm here as well. So um, it is a little bit atypical for some autumn packing, but you can still glean some really good insights from what I brought no matter what. All right, let's dive in. I'm gonna open up this suitcase for you. Oh my gosh, it's everything that I brought. <laughs> for real though. So the reason why I'm doing it this way and talking to you guys about what I brought versus filming in advance of my trip about what I'm packing is I wanted to make sure I showed an absolute honest overview of the things that I packed. So there's no cheating that I can really do here. Um, this is what I brought with me on this trip. <laughs> I'm also wearing right now my Nike shoes that got a little bit dirty from um, hiking in Salt Lake City. But yes, yeah, so the shoes that I wear on the plane are my tennis shoes. I have two pairs of shoes in here as well that I'll get into. I'm gonna unpack this in a way that I'm just gonna like take out the items one by one. So this is my liquids bag. So here um, I have a liquids bag, it's about quart size and I bought it at the container store. It's the Rezip brand. I'll put a link to it down below. I like that it's a little bit translucent so you can see what's inside, but it's a really thick material, um, waterproof as well, totally washable. So inside is all of my liquids. <laughs> um, yeah, my body wash is on top. Um, I'm not going to jump into everything that I brought, but it's a lot of those basics of, you know, body wash, shampoo and conditioner. My shampoo and conditioners are in one ounce sized bottles specifically. I feel like you have to buy at the store these giant bottles. They're like between two and three ounces. And I don't need that much shampoo and conditioner while I am traveling usually. So it's just a little bit of a waste. So I, whenever I find a one ounce size bottle, I keep it forever and just refill them. Um, then I have like a shaving cream. I have lotion for my face because I'm in some pretty dry climates right now. I'm in the desert, Sonoran Desert, and Salt Lake was very dry too. So I have a lot of lotion. I have sunscreen. I have eye makeup remover, um, a charcoal face mask for if I feel like I need it, face wash, um, a little bit of nail polish remover, 
Um, and then also just some, my skincare, my general skincare. I've done a How I Pack My Liquids bag video on this channel before, so I'll put a link down below. It's pretty similar stuff to what's in here, so I won't jump into all of the details of all of the things right now. Okay, next up. So this is kind of my toiletries bag part two. It's everything that's not a liquid. And I really like this one. It zipped in and out of a larger toiletries bag that I own, but I didn't bring that one on this trip because I have a carry-on. So this is my shower cap. This comes in a really good handy because sometimes hotels have shower caps and sometimes they don't. But specifically I'm staying at well, when I was in Salt Lake, I was at my best friend's apartment and here I'm at my family's house and neither have free shower caps. So I had to bring one. And then I have a hairbrush. That's kind of a mini hairbrush here as well as a comb. So th between these two, they pretty much do the trick throughout my entire travel of being able to take care of my long and luscious locks of hair. <laughs> I have a bag of Q-tips and cotton balls and some tissues, my toothbrush, yay, with a little cap on it to protect it, my tiny little um, Venus razor. I'll put a link to the these down below, but you can find them at like your local Target as well too. These are great because they save so much space and protect your razors. I have a spare razor in here as well, um, here. Uh, and then, like I said, I do have uh, longer hair, so I bring um, a hair clip and some ponytail holders attached to the hair clip. Floss. And what's really important that I want to talk through is um, this is a little plastic baggie that also has hair ties in it, but um, on top of that, it has a tiny little sewing kit inside that I took from a hotel amenities kit one time and I just bring it with me everywhere. It has a little safety pin, needle, thread, and buttons. So if anything happens to my clothes while I'm traveling, I at least have some form, some way to make minor repairs. A few other things are in here too. I have like a Bior nose strip, a shout to go wipe if I get any stains on my clothing, some oil blotting sheets because I'm a YouTuber and maybe need those. And then lastly, I, I'm gonna get into this in a second because I have it elsewhere in my bag, but I have my travel makeup remover wipes um, that these are like the individual packs that you can find at certain hotels. And I have my Acure Dry Shampoo, which is a powder form dry shampoo, kind of acts almost like a baby powder <laughs> in a way, but you sprinkle it into your hair and it works just as well as any dry shampoo. So those are all of the things that are in my like non-liquids toiletries bag. By the way, if you're liking this video so far and finding it helpful, definitely press the thumbs up and the subscribe buttons down below so you don't miss the travel videos on this channel. Okay, next up is my makeup bag. It is a little bit larger because I'm filming some YouTube videos while I'm traveling this trip. So um, I just have a lot of things in here. If you are traveling and you are not filming YouTube videos or taking major cool photos of yourself, then you probably don't need this much. But let me just kind of show you. I stack everything with each other. So there's, I mean, a few eyeshadows, blush, foundation, concealer, um, face powder, bronzer, lip glosses and lipsticks an SPF lip balm, and mascara, eyeliner, primers, a tiny little makeup mirror, and I think that's it. That's everything. So everything in my makeup bag I just listed here, and I've done another video before of the makeup that I typically bring on a trip. So again, I will link that video down below. We don't have to get super detailed today. But yes, make sure you bring your makeup. And then, if you're bringing your makeup, you're also going to want to bring makeup brushes. I pack all of my makeup brushes kind of in this like container that lays everything flat so they're not squishing each other, but it's definitely not the most um, wonderful for, for makeup brushes, whatever. Sorry, not sorry. This is what I bring, and this is what I've been bringing for years when I travel. Okay, on top of that in here, you're also going to find Beyond Brushes, like little scissors. These come in so much handy. I've heard from certain British people on 
the, in the comments on this channel that these little scissors and these tweezers perhaps are not allowed through security at certain British airports or maybe used to not be because I've always brought them through security when I have had carry-ons and have not had them confiscated. But um, yeah, so you can totally bring these in the U.S. for sure um, and in a lot of other countries. But just be a little cautious, I guess, um, if you're going to another country with just a carry-on, making sure that they don't have any rules about tweezers or little scissors. But I love having those. And then I also have a nail file in here. Those are so important. I, I just feel like I'm constantly doing something wrong to my nails while I'm traveling because they get like really beat up <laughs> a lot when I am lifting my suitcase around and unpacking and packing and blah, blah, blah. And then finally, some nail clippers. Again, really pretty standard stuff. So makeup brushes, I promise are in here. And yeah, that's it. Okay, make sure you have those though if you're bringing some makeup. Let's just keep on this beauty trend train. Um, I have in here a tiny, teeny, tiny little um, dual hair straightener and curling iron. So I'll put a link to this guy below, but quite honestly, I'm not entirely 100% satisfied with it because it's almost too small for the length of my hair. If you have shoulder length hair or less, then it would totally work. But my hair is just pretty long right now. Um, and so it it's, takes a little bit too much time, I feel, compared to only a slightly bigger iron to do it. So that being said, it's pretty great. There's a little curling iron clip and you can make it a straightening iron and it's dual voltage. Just a really cool little, I mean, it would be a great stocking stuffer or something like that for somebody who travels a lot or just somebody who needs something small to bring with them. I should add, I do not have a hair dryer with me on this trip. I often bring my T3 travel hair dryer with me whenever I travel. That being said, since I'm only going to be staying with friends and family while traveling t on this trip and they all have women in the household who do their hair, I thought, what the heck, I might as well leave my hair dryer out on this trip because I can just borrow other people's. But don't forget your hair dryer if you aren't gonna have access to one. Next up is I have tiny little tech, um, tech friendly, meaning like you can use your cell phone while you're still using these gloves because I knew that since it's mid-October, once I fly back to Chicago, I might be really cold with just my leather jacket. So just in case, these fit really well into the pockets of my leather jacket. So in case I needed them, but have not used these on this trip yet. Hopefully won't have to. All right, this is a little zippy pouch that I put a lot of like feminine care products in. I am an adult woman who is under 50, so every so often I need some feminine care products. So that's where those get stored. Then I have my um, medicines. I also put um, most of my medicines in my purse, which I'll get to in a little bit, which is in the personal item. The new addition to my carry-on stuff in 2020 and 2021 is a like automatic thermometer. I'd like to bring this if it fits in my bag. So just in case I start feeling sick, I can kind of judge right away if it's something to be worried about. And as I mentioned before, I brought little kind of to-go face wipes for makeup removing that I had taken from a hotel, but I also have my face wipes that remove my makeup that I just need to have with me for when I travel. And I just put them separately in my bag just to save some space. Okay. With that, I did get my nails done while I've been in Tucson, but I brought some nail polish too in a plastic baggie. So I have three nail polish colors with me. Uh, you do not have to bring nail polish, of course, depending on what your nail strategy is but just thought I'd share that with you. I brought that with me for like doing my toes, keeping up with my pedicures. I do have sandals for this adventure. So yeah, I wanted to make sure that I had something fun to touch up my, my nails with. Okay, next up is my little mini compression cubes. So these hold my kind of more like intimate things. So this one has my underwear I brought, I think, 10 pairs of underwear. I've, again, I'm gone for 17 days. So of course, need to do laundry on this trip. And then also inside of here is one bathing suit and one, um, 
what is it called? Like a bathing suit cover, if you will. So that's been really handy being in a warmer climate. Then in here is three sports bras and two regular bras and um, also two. I brought specifically a convertible bra so you can do different straps and stuff like that. So the straps for that one are in this as well. Not gonna show those particular items on the internet. You guys just have to believe me, um, but I made sure to know the number of everything that is in there. So the last things that are on this side of the suitcase are, what's in here? I don't know. No, just kidding. Um, these are my, my nicer kind of like fall boots that all of my socks are inside of. So I brought, I think six pairs of socks and then one pair of slipper socks or other people call them hospital socks. I totally just use them as slippers for when I travel. So there's four athletic socks, um, one slipper sock, and I think it's one like ankle sock and then one, one or two regular crew socks. So that's what's in this. And it's been really nice to have these boots for travel. I love them because they kind of go with a lot of things and have a little bit of a heel, but don't take up way too much space in my suitcase. Oh, last thing is my deodorant. I bring a full size deodorant. You absolutely can. You do not need to bring just a mini deodorant when you travel. I should say you do not need to bring a mini deodorant when you travel if you're not bringing a spray deodorant. If you're bringing a spray deodorant, that's a liquid and you need to have it as three ounces or less. Okay, and then the other shoes that I brought, on top of the ones that I'm wearing, which are my tennis shoes that I wear throughout the airport and for hikes, <laughs> my um, leather sandals. So these have come in so handy on warmer days. Um, they can be dressed up and dressed down. And I, what I have wished that I've had on this trip is another pair of black sandals. I've like, I just feel like that would really round out a lot of my outfits, but these have made do. So it's nice. I have one pair of black shoes, my black tennis shoes, and then these white sandals. Um, and they've been a really great, just like trio for the outfits that I packed um, and being able to create different outfits based on the, uh, the type of occasion that I'm going to, whether it's like dinner out or the temperature outside. All right, opening up this side of the suitcase now. I have my leather backpack. So this one you guys have probably seen in other travel vlog videos. I've had it for a couple years now. And this one's great. Um, there's nothing inside of it, but I have packed a few things inside of it depending on how I pack my suitcase and put it in. So this time I just put it straight in without anything in. Then within these little nooks and crannies next to the compression cubes that are on this side, I have a belt which is great because I did bring two pairs of jeans, which I'll get to, as well as some jean shorts. And then my little folding shopping bag, which I've done a Travel Tip Tuesday video about last year on this channel. I'll put a link below to that video as well. Um, this is great. It folds up really small and then it can unfold really big and become a beach bag. It can just carry a ton of stuff and is so handy to have that it can like expand and contract so well. All right, and then inside of the two compression cubes is going to be all of my clothes. So on this trip, along with the clothes that I'm wearing right now, there's a whole compression cube full of shirts. So specifically, I'll just tell you how I broke out my shirts for this trip. I have two kind of pajama t-shirts that I wear. They're actually both t-shirts. I, I like to wear t-shirts from um, that I've gotten at national parks. I don't know why. It's just like I like sleeping in t-shirts from national parks. It makes me feel really good. Um, so yeah, so those say Acadia on them and then um, a national park in Colorado as well. And then I have five hiking shirts, workout shirts. So my best friend and my family were so active. We love being outside, especially in nice fall weather. So it's been really nice to have five shirts to do yoga in, to do hikes in, and not have to be constantly washing my shirts. But if you're not gonna be doing as active of a trip, you probably don't need that many. Then I have two kind of like lighter weight polyester shirts that dry super quick. I always bring polyester shirts with me because of that reason in case I need to, um, something that will dry um, in a few hours. Then I have two cotton tank tops, one kind of sweater tank top, 
two cotton t-shirts. One's a Breton top. I really like bringing those to, to give a little French vibe. And then I have this longer polyester top as well as the one that I'm wearing, which are great with leggings. And then a long sleeve polyester top and a polyester dress. Polyester does dry very quick, so it's really nice um, that I can either hang dry stuff, sink, sink laundry, or put things in the dryer, and yeah. I will also, I think, need to caveat the reason why I'm wearing the outfit that I'm wearing as my travel outfit is I'm technically, when I fly standby, not supposed to wear jeans. So I am wearing these kind of like nicer trouser pants that I've got in Paris. They have a little bow on them and stuff. Uh, they, they are really comfortable, but do have that dressier look that is important for representing the airline when flying standby. And then I have a merino wool cardigan sweater on that I wear with almost everything if I need a light, a light layer on top because of maybe the, the nights get cooler or something like that. Um, so yeah, so this is a long shirt too. I could wear it over leggings and that's kind of the strategy with having longer shirts as well as regular length shirts. In this other compression cube is the bottoms essentially. I have one dress in here too that I packed, but then I have one pair of blue jeans. I have one pair of black denim, kind of like straight length, uh, almost like a, it's not a capri, it's, it's longer than a capri, but it's not a full length pant. Um, I have my pajama bottoms, two pairs of leggings again i like i said i was i'm doing a ton of hiking and a outdoor activities on this trip so that's great for that um just to have both so that way again you don't have to do laundry every day and then one pair of denim shorts black denim shorts um, i think i mentioned already that there's a dress in here too so yeah that's everything that is in here oh sorry one more thing um that i did not mention is i have a pair of exercise shorts in here as well, which I have not used on this trip. Wish that I hadn't brought them. I hate when I bring stuff that I didn't use. Then I have a lighter cardigan sweater as well. Um, and this one is good to balance out the black one. So that way, depending on what, what the outfit color is, they're both neutral, but I can choose kind of like a lighter layer on top or a darker layer. And then last but not least, literally, this is the last thing in my suitcase. Um, and it's inside out, <laughs> but you can get the gist. This is a, a half zip sweatshirt, black sweatshirt that I stole from Derek a few years ago. Um, <laughs> and he doesn't want it back. Uh, it's mine now. But yeah, this is originally his. And I wear this as a layer every morning when it's kind of cool here in Tucson over my pajamas. So that way I stay warm when I'm playing with the dogs in the morning. <laughs> All right. So yes. Okay. Turned it inside, turned it right side out. And that is everything that is in my suitcase. Okay. We've gone through my suitcase now, and now I'm going to jump into my personal bag to round out everything that I've taken on this trip. So let me just pivot the suitcase kind of over to one side. So that way <laughs> I can get my personal bag up here and you guys can all see it better. Okay. So hopefully this is not too hard to see. I know it's black in color, which on camera can be a little bit iffy, but if I open it up, you'll see it is chock full of goodies. <laughs> um, I do have a hand sanitizer first and foremost attached to the zipper of this, which is super convenient to have on the airplane or just having it in the airport like this. It's really nice. Okay. But inside I have my miniature water bottle. So let me just put it up closer to the camera. It's Nalgene brand. And I think it's about, yeah, it's a 14 ounce water bottle and it works really well with the water fountains that you can fill your water in, in the airport. And it's great to just have a little bit of water with you whenever you're traveling um, in case maybe there's a ground stop and that you can't get the cart service and it's just really dry on the airplane. Also, of course, I use this when I'm hiking too. In addition to that, I pack a pretty much i always bring this particular purse with me every time i travel because it fits so easily i can kind of like smush and squish it into my personal item bag that any purse that has a little bit more structure to 
doesn't really do that as easily. <laughs> um, this one, this one's leather. I've had it for years. It's from Kate Spade. Um, they definitely don't make it anymore. Um, maybe I'll try to find something sort of similar and put it down below. Take a look in the description, see if I found it. Um, but inside is all of the rest of the items that weren't in my suitcase that are still really important to remember to bring. So I have my jewelry pouch. I've gone over this in one of my Female Travel Friday videos that I take just a little bit of jewelry with me when I travel and I put it in a pretty inconspicuous bag. I have two pairs of sunglasses on this trip. <laughs> Oops, sorry, and a Sharpie. I didn't even know that I <laughs> put that in my hand. Two pairs of sunglasses on this trip because I am in a very sunny place. I am in the desert, almost in Mexico here in Tucson, Arizona, and I need to have sunglasses whenever I drive and I want them to look really cute with my outfits. So I like to have different options, but yeah, I have two, oh, also two if I break one or lose one, it's good to have a backup. There's floss, there's headphones, there's um, a portable phone charger, there's my prescription medicine, my house keys, my face mask collection, because this is 2021 when I'm filming. So I have three face masks and my little, like, what is this called? I think it's like a little face gauge that um, acts to protect your skin a little bit. Um, make sure you don't get the mask knee and stuff. Then the other things in here, I have my little mini, I like to call it my pocket pharmacy. Sometimes I'll put it into a plastic bag if I'm traveling abroad just to make it look a little bit less like I'm trying to hide anything. But I have a ton of pills in here. There's allergy pills, there's pain medicine, there's like a Pepto and Imodium, there's Band-Aids, there's Lactaid pills because I am lactose intolerant, um, there's Benadryl, um, yeah, just a, just a, all the things that I might need and want to be brand loyal to or something like that to have on hand while I travel. So that way, if I start feeling ill, if I start getting an allergy, if I am cut or something, you know, I'll, I'll have that with me. And actually on this trip, it was the first time in so long that I've had an injury. I fell off a Lime scooter, um, one of those electric scooters that we were renting in Salt Lake City. And I like got a little bit of bruising on my legs and I had a minor cut on my elbow. Ah! And I ended up needing to use a little travel Neosporin and, and band-aids and stuff. So yeah, really good to have. Then I have my powder mineral sunscreen that you kind of can brush all over your face and stuff like that. I did another Travel Tip Tuesday video about this. So um, I'll put a link to that video down below too. And I have, because I'm in a very sunny place, I have a copper tone travel size sunscreen as well. Along with the face masks that I brought, you know, PPE, um, I have my own second hand gel sanitizer and then um, an emergency in case I really feel like I need a little bit of an immunity boost while I'm traveling. Thankfully, I haven't felt like I needed that at all on this trip. I have visine drops too for your eyes in case your eyes get dry. Again, haven't needed that on this trip, thankfully. Um, and then some mints. Okay, and then I normally, because I film YouTube videos, pack this thing super full of camera gear, but I'm not going to show you all of that camera gear. First of all, I'm using some of it right now, but it's not gonna be relevant to everybody. So um, this is just the things that would be relevant for your packing. So I have a pair of noise canceling headphones in here. Um, these are really great to have on the airplane, especially if you're on a long haul flight and just want to kind of like drown out the noise around you so maybe you could sleep or watch a movie really in kind of your own world um, so if you don't need noise canceling headphones though just regular headphones can do the trick um, just make sure you bring ones that if you have an iphone like what i have then it would plug into your iphone or also the little the long pronged ones that can plug into the plain entertainment system then I have my tech case. So this holds all of those crazy cords that always get like mixed around. And then also my external hard drive, some spare batteries and just little connector ports. I have a Mac, so like I have all of these dongle things that I need that I just kind of 
if I'm being honest, a little bit obnoxious. But yeah, I mean, it's just nice to have all of those things in one place and everything has a home and that home is inside of this. <laughs> The next thing is my notebook. I use this for work. It has a pen attached to it here. Um, but if even if you're not traveling for work, if you're just traveling for fun, it's still important to bring a paper and pen. It comes in so handy so many times. And I've noticed, I've stayed at probably, I, don't, I wanna say over 30 hotels, definitely over 30 accommodations um, since the pandemic occurred. And I've noticed that that is the first thing, the first in-room amenity that hotels just completely did away with. And it's probably because it's such a high touch thing, but having a paper and pen in your hotel room is just not happening anymore. <laughs> like literally, I think maybe one hotel has had them since the pandemic started that I've stayed at. So definitely make sure to bring a paper and pen. Then there's my laptop bag. So this is my laptop case that I use and it has the, the charger and the mouse and everything in here too. And that's just really nice for keeping this bag really sturdy too on top of everything. They, I haven't really needed this in Tucson, but I have a little miniature umbrella um, for that for the reason of if it starts to rain wherever I'm at, then I can just whip up this umbrella and stay Try. Now I've mentioned this item on my channel before too. This is a Bluetooth selfie stick that has a built-in tripod. And if you're gonna be traveling a lot, um, it's just nice to be able to have this that can fit any cell phone. And if you wanna take a picture with somebody or just with a background, um, it extends really high. And you take this little remote out that you can kind of see here and the remote can work as a little clicker button and you don't even have to like be clicking on your phone to take the picture. You can take a really professional quality photo um, yourself by just clicking the button on the remote. So this is really cool. It was like $20 on Amazon. I'll put a link to it below because I have absolutely loved having this for the past several years. Then the last things in the bag, um, there's really not a lot left. Um, it's just like snacks. I have, I have snacks guys and I have my instant oatmeal. I think I mentioned that I bring that a lot in case I need breakfast in my hotel room because you can heat up water really easily in a hotel room. So if you don't like any of the breakfast that they serve or you just really need something to eat <laughs> at any time of day, having instant oatmeal can be a lifesaver. Um, I have my eye mask if I want to sleep on the plane, some more emergency packets, um, some mask, face mask, um, 2.5 refills for my face mask. And um, last but not least, I have some wipes, some Kleenex, um, and some coldies in case something happens. Okay, so that's it. That's everything that's left in here. And then there's one more secret pocket right at the top. And this is where I have my cell phone. Oh my gosh, it's a cell phone. <laughs> um, oop. I have a wet one for antibacterial hand wiping. I have my stasher bag. So this is like a reusable Ziploc bag, plastic baggie. And you, I keep my almonds in here that I like to travel with. These are, almonds are so great as a travel snack that you can tell I've eaten most of them already. <laughs> um, but yeah, so having a snack just literally within distance of just pulling it out of this tiny little hidden pocket on top of my bag is amazing. And then I have pens and chapstick. So Sharpie, two pens, chapstick, and the very final things, very, very last things that are in here are two TSA luggage locks. Now, I'm not actually checking my bag, so this doesn't go on my bag when I'm actually traveling. I could put it on my bag if I wanted to, I suppose, but I don't. Um, these are for if I end up having to stay at a hotel, maybe my, on this trip, for example, maybe I get stuck in one of my layover cities and need to stay at a hotel overnight. Um, if I need to put my bags in to like a, the hotel hold, for example, so when you kind of like check in early and your hotel needs um, to store your bags while you go out and explore a city, it's really nice and like good peace of mind, especially when you're traveling with as much kind of like ex more expensive camera gear that I have, that you have these luggage locks and you can lock them up when you put them into that hotel hold. And that, my friends, is it. 
That is absolutely everything that I brought with me on this trip. If you have any items that you absolutely always pack that I didn't or that I missed, please make sure to put them in the comments down below so that way we can all learn from each other on this channel, in this community. Oh, we have so many great travelers in this community. I learn from you guys every time you make a comment. So thanks so much in advance for commenting. I hope you guys really liked this video of just literally breaking down all of the items that I've packed for this half of a month trip um, to different places domestically around the United States. This is pretty much how I pack for a lot of my travels. So if you guys liked this video, if you found it super helpful, please press that thumbs up button down below. It helps support free travel content like this on YouTube. Also too, if you are new here, definitely press that red subscribe button below so you don't miss any of the travel packing videos, travel vlogs, travel tips, all the travel videos on this channel and to come. Thanks everybody for watching. Cheers. Happy travels. Bye. Hey travelers, don't forget to subscribe and let's hang out more. Here are some links to other helpful travel videos on my channel and press that notification bell so you don't miss any new and awesome travel videos to come.